They've gotten this new idea. It's their bright eyes, their, their brightest innovation now. They put everything aside and they wait for the Good evening. This is the we're opening the meeting public. No, open the meeting. Opening up the meeting for uh, Dudley Conservation Commission for June twenty third. Can I have a roll call, please? Six forty. Nancy Vukovic. Samantha Costello. George Slingo. Rand McElhatry. <laughs> okay. First on the agenda is one eighty three West Main Street, Gentex. Request for a determination of applicability for a gas line replacement work. Hi, I'm Kathy Benjamin. I'm representing Gentex Optics. Um, and I, I believe I have a public notice that I'm uh, to deliver to you today. Uh, I have that. I have that with me. Uh, you can have the whole paper or the little ad. That's fine. <laughs> And if you, if you need me to read off the work description, I can do that, but that is in the application. All up to you. No, we're good. We're good? Yep. Pat? Recommendations for a negative determination. And the biggest reason why there was a filing required was because we have a bylaw that doesn't close out the state exemption. I'm sorry. The reason why we required the filing was because our bylaw does not close out the newly granted state exemptions for gas lines. So under the bylaw, you still have to file the RDA, but it's, pardon the pun, uh, pardon the wetlands pun, it's pretty cut and dry. <laughs> right. So recommendations for a negative determination. Is there a public hearing we have to have on this? No, this is no. a public, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a public <laughs> hearing. Okay. I make a motion that we grant a negative determination of applicability for gas line replacement work for 183 West Main Street, Gentex. Second it. Yes. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be receiving a form very shortly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Early next week. Have a great evening. Thanks, you too. <clears throat> number two is lot number 51, Noble Street. Notice of intent for a single family dwelling. Mr. Chair, as we were talking about earlier, DEP doesn't have the uh, NOI registered in their database nor DEP number, so we're going to have to continue this. Okay. So, I mean, he can make his presentation so we can get familiar with what's going on here. I mean, I know the area, I know where the wetland line is, I don't have a problem with the filing. I don't really have any problems with the NOI at all either. Um, but it needs to wait for the review and the number from DEP, so. I'm gonna open the public hearing, George. I'll open the public hearing at... 644, 643. 643. Any abutters present? <laughs> uh, good evening. My name is Andy Baum from Summit Engineering and Survey. I'm here on behalf of, um, of the applicant for the construction of a single family house located at Lot 51 at Pierpont Estates off of Noble Street. Um, if you look at the plan, it's, uh, it's on or connected to the partially constructed roadway. Um, Castle Circle is actually a little to the left of that plan for the end cul-de-sac uh, where the subdivision currently ends. Uh, there is a flag wetlands and I'm not terribly familiar with when it was, it was done, I'm assuming part of the original subdivision. Wetland line highlighted in blue to the right of the lot. Most of it is actually on the adjacent lot. Um, and then you'll see the proposed work includes the construction of a single family house, driveway tucked up as close as we could get to the uh, frontage off of Noble Street, and then to the rear of the property is the proposed septic system in, in expansion area. It's a conventional uh, trench type system involving two trenches and associated grading. <coughs> Highlighted in the orange is a proposed erosion control that would encapsulate the area 
uh, pre prevent er any erosion from <coughs> any construction from getting to the uh, to the protected area. And then it, it's kind of hard to see from a distance, and I apologize, but highlighted in yellow is the 100-foot buffer zone. Uh, the septic system itself is located approximately 71 feet <coughs> away from the flagged wetland location. And the associated grading comes down to the edge of the lot, probably within about uh, 10 to 15 feet of the of the bordering vegetated wetlands. <coughs> That's uh, pretty much the, the extent of the work. Uh, Normally under our bylaw now, we require a 25-foot no-touch zone. Okay. Okay. However, because your lots are already grandfathered under pre-existing approval for the subdivision, um, and the fact that what you've got going on in there is just grading and the lot's half deforested as it is. Mm -hmm. um, my recommendation would be when you make your motion to approve, to also approve a waiver from the 25-foot no-touch bylaw, provision of the bylaw. What, what he's doing is just grading. It's going to be grassed over. It's not like it's going to hurt anything. It'll probably wind up growing back in on its own. Has this been approved by the Board of Health yet? I do not believe it has. Um, it has been submitted to the Board of Health, um, but I don't believe it has been formally approved by them. Well, then we should also put in the order of conditions. I mean, well, I mean, we'll probably wait till the next yeah. meeting because we got we can't we have to continue it anyway. So wait right. till the next meeting. When when are you going to the Board of Health next? The plan has been submitted the uh, same same time it was submitted to the. When you come back in three weeks, if you've gotten Board of Health approval oh, at that time, yep. have a copy of their approval notice sent to us. If not, um, I'm going to recommend to the commission that they put. Um, a provision requiring that a copy of the Board of Health approval be submitted to the file. Okay. Because if you don't get Board of Health approval, your order's moot. You're going to have to go Correct. for it. You're going to have to redo the system and go for an amendment. Correct. Okay. So, it's pretty simple stuff. You're just stuck on the technicality of the, you know, chicken before the egg with the database. Yeah. Plus, you know, they've been short staffed in their probably it's vacation season for them too now, too. So, July 4th's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? Is it still hot out? Pardon? Is it still hot out? <laughs> it's beautiful out. Well, you asked if there were any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Question? Any other questions related to the project? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's the wife to be. She's always with the technicalities. It's starting to rub off. It's, it's coming out. <laughs> so you have to continue the public hearing, right? Yes. Okay, so that's on the 13th, I think you said? 14th. 14th. If you want to sign, um, you can sign the bottom of this saying that you will agree <coughs> to continue the public hearing to sure. July 14th. You can just sign down the bottom. And then just say that you agree to <coughs> we'll just postpone until the next meeting. Right. <coughs> when is it July 11th? 17th. 14th. 14th. <coughs> Thank you. I can't believe we're already using the word July. It's like this um, year's flown by. Do we need a motion to continue the public hearing? I'd like to make a motion that we continue the public hearing for Lot 51 Noble Street for the no notice of intent for a single family dwelling. I'll second it. Second it. To July 14th. No, uh, to, to July 14th, sorry. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Next on the agenda is Oakwood Estates Conservation Restricted Land Donation. And we have a deed. <coughs> now, if, if the commission recalls the last meeting, I had, I had stated that I, I wasn't quite satisfied with the language because it didn't mention anything about conservation on the land. Now it does. It was just a simple insert. The language has been adjusted, so I'm in, I'm happy with it. So if you guys want to go for it, it meets it meets the criteria to be protected as conservation land now. And they've included a copy of the plan as well as the um, acreage, which is 2.68. Okay. So 
copy of the of the site plan? A copy of the plan was included. Oh, okay. So now he has to go to the Board of Selectmen, they'll approve it, then they'll send it to us for our signature to be the administrators for a conservation restricted land. So, so do we vote on anything today? You can vote to approve the um, updated deed or the revised deed. Okay, I make a motion that we accept the, up the revised deed for Oakview Estates. Second. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next thing on the list is Dresser Hill Mass DOT project. Yep. <laughs> I forgot you brought that denied stamp. Hmm? You brought that denied stamp, right? <laughs> Uh, Good timing. Just I know, right? <laughs> I had such a uh, messed up situation trying to get my car. We have like a pool, a vehicle pool, at uh, our place in Boston, and I went to go grab my keys, and they just weren't there. I was like, oh great. <laughs> so then you had to come down by the Mass Pike, did you? <clears throat> What's that? Did you have to come down by the Mass Pike? Absolutely. I came from uh, downtown in Boston, basically. So. <laughs> All right, so at least you guys can sympathize with me for a little bit. <laughs> I've, I've been Still. through the mound of metal that is the pike at that time. <laughs> that I know, right? All right, well, I guess we'll get started. So uh, we're sub we submitted an RDA with you guys, and we're uh, requesting respectfully a negative determination of applicability um, for our project here on Route 31, uh, Dresser Hill Road. Uh, the project extends from its four-mile project in total it extends from the Connecticut town line uh, all the way up to the Charlton Dudley town line. And uh, basically the, the big warrant for this project is, is safety. Um, we ran, a, I believe it was a road safety audit on this, on this roadway, and it turns out that it's uh, a crash cluster that's, that's higher than state average crash rates on this road. Um, so we were able to pursue HSIP funding for it, which is Highway Safety Improvement Program. We kind of saved that for our roadways that have the highest crash ratings and this one fit the bill. Um, so we decided, we, we looked at what we could do in terms of uh, designing, redesigning the road so that we could get improved safety. And what we came up with was uh, pretty, pretty small stuff, but it does make a big difference. Uh, basically improving signage, pavement markings, and um, some tree removal so that we can get the required uh, sight distances and uh, line, lines of sight for drivers. Um, and not basically, a, we're not expanding the road widths or adding drainage hardware that doesn't exist now. Everything is within the existing edge of pavement and within our state highway layout. Well, it's actually county layout, but um, the counties are defunct. So, <laughs> um, yeah, nothing, nothing is being widened at all. Um, that's what I, I mean. That's what I thought when I saw the plan. Right. Um, Taking the trees down from line of sight, I mean, I agree. It's not, I, I travel that area a lot because we've had former projects on that, and, and it's a connector for me to go from different areas of town between different projects. And I can totally understand the line of sight. I, I don't see any impacts to wetlands. They're doing everything with it, either the, the highway layout or with the pavement layout. So my recommendation is definitely for a negative determination number three. Because you are in the buffer zone spots so mm -hmm. <clears throat> any questions good questions no do you no. no I make a motion that we issue a negative determination of applicability for Dressel Hill Road Mass DOT project second for the number three for the number three yeah, okay. it's just the box in the form that you check off. It says it's still in the buffer zone, but it won't alter the level. Okay. Okay, a motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Motion carries. Keep in mind that I do monitor the negative determinations to make sure that you stay within the scope of what we gave you a negative for, because if you go out of the scope, I will reevaluate it. So I tend to go in ninja mode, so you won't see me because... I tend to drive cars that look like riding lawnmowers, so you might think I'm one of the farmers out there trying to, you know, get past you guys. 
but seriously, most of the, I mean, actually 99% of the work I've done with DOT as far as a regulator goes, their, their work has been impeccable. Well, so wear that tree costume. You know, I'm going to wear the tree costume. <laughs> I look good in oak, though. You look like a tree. You might get you cut down, though. You out there in camo? Yeah, just don't, just don't get in the line of sight. That's right. <laughs> he's really funny when he's driving his John Deere. Yep. <laughs> one more. Well, uh, there's no lawnmowers allowed on uh, DOT project sites, so. Well, no, I drive this, like, little Hyundai <laughs> Street. that I bought back in 13, and it sounds just like a lawnmower on wheels. It's a great little gas mileage. is awesome. It looks like a long You know, but you know, yeah. <laughs> my son's moped gets almost the same mileage. You know what I'm saying? It goes they, faster. And they sound the yeah. same. <laughs> but you're, you're inside instead yeah, of weathering exactly. the, the rain or whatever. You haven't seen the Hyundai. <laughs> as far as the general scope of work on a project goes, it, it is as, as shown on these plans. The one thing I do want to say is that we are giving the resident engineer some latitude to make some additional calls as far as uh, clearing goes based on um, field decisions to be made when he's out there. When they start clearing, they may need to clear a little further. Just remind him that, and, and this has happened before, just remind him or her that the, um, the, the only thing I'm going to need is a phone call saying, hey, we might have to go in a little bit deeper in this part of the buffer zone close to the wetland than what we alluded to in our plans because we've discovered A, B, and C. And that happens during the course of a project. There are things even you know, even if all seven members, myself, Carol, our cable guy, and the Board of Selectmen went out and, and inspected, we'd still miss. Everybody would. It just happens, you know? And the thinking is it's they, they, both, they might take down some trees and then look at the condition and say, well, we do need to go a little further to make this sight line what we really Yeah, we'll work with it. It's not a so problem. It is. Right. We'll work with it. Mm -hmm. okay. But it's all for a good cause, so. <laughs> all right, nothing's free. <laughs> all right, well, thank you very much, thank guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Are you going to take your map? What's that? Are you going to take your map I back? am going to take that back, <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. Okay, next is the meeting minutes. Well, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the meeting, the minutes as pre presented. I'll second it. Okay, a motion's been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, motion carries. Next is adjournment. Do we have any other issues or items for discussion now? Okay. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, motion's been is that made your second stand? to adjourn? At six fifty. Hey guys, is that your stand? No? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. And seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.